What is going on guys? My name is Lexi and welcome back to the channel. This is the second part of us building this 2018 Ford F-150 5.0 with the 10-speed transmission. So anybody that missed the last video, we did the oil pump gears and the crankshaft sprocket, which is a very important part of installing the Whipple. That way our, our motor can handle the power that we're about to throw at it. And in this video, we are finally, finally installing this bad boy right here. It is going into this F-150. So by the time this video is done, this truck better be on the road roasting some tires. So for people that are just joining this channel, welcome. Uh, you are gonna have a lot of fun watching me break stuff and also have a lot of fun at the track, but we are trying to build a 2018 Ford F-150 to 1,000 horsepower and to run in the eight seconds in the quarter mile, which is a big, big order. Uh, but we have a lot of help, of course, like I said, from M-Tech Solutions, Whipple, and all the uh, other people that we've talked to. So we have a lot of things happening, but the first and the really, really good step forward is to start with this Gen 5 3.0 Whipple, brand spanking new that's going on this motor. Luckily, Luckily, by us doing a lot of the work for oil pump gears and crane sprockets, we knocked out a lot of things. Like, for example, we already replaced our spark plugs. We already uh, took the intake off. Everything is done, so we are pretty much somewhat ready to slap the Whipple on. But first, of course, we do have to assemble it, so that is the most important part. As you can tell, Igor is taking it off. Dude, I got to see this, man. Look at that massive uh, intercooler that's built in. It's kind of like the Hellcat, right? It's kind of the same design. It's better. Oh, of course it's better. It's a Gen 5. <laughs> and then, of course, you got the twin screws in there. Look at that beauty. Jesus, man. Wow, this is going to be so fingers. much fun. Dude, I cannot wait, man. We're going to be making so much power with this. So, Well, we're going to start off by putting all these gaskets in because all the gaskets are still in bags. Okay. So we're going to put gaskets, seals on everything. And then uh, the lid has to come off anyways because all the bolts are in here. There's three bolts oh, on each side. Snap. And then okay. there is one on each corner here. And okay. all of those match with the OEM holes on the block, on the engine. So so with this setup, it's a stage one, right? Whipple setup that we got. Stage one, yeah. So we're going to put an adapter here and then your original throttle body for stage one. Look at that bad boy. And then uh, I hear later you're going to put a 132. It's already at the house, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. But we're trying, to, we're trying to do it this the right way. With this Whipple kit, is there any sort of cutting, wiring, drilling into the motor? Anything no. we have to do at all or no. is it just plug and no, play? if you walk over here with me, there's a... Uh, Basically, like, we're adding some pulleys, obviously, because the belt's a bit longer. Right. Uh, so there's just a bracket that fits all OEM holes. So okay. you're not grinding, cutting, drilling anything. Everything wow. uh, is... Uh, we're we're going to be cutting a few hoses here and there. Okay. But just to extend them to get them more room for the big blower. Makes you know, sense. Yeah, Makes sense. To, to get access to the, the blower. Um, so everything is pretty simple. We're just gonna follow step-by-step -step instructions. So it comes with the instructions. Did yeah, you have to yeah, print these yeah. off? No, that actually it, came, everything dude, that's comes so in the box. sick. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and it's in color. I know, right? Makes everything so much easier. Yeah. And from yeah. what I remember, this is already, uh, we went ahead and got this sent over to Whipple, right? And yep, already yep. put a tune the on tune's here. already on there. We're just, dude, we're so ready. Oh my God. Dude, we're so excited. So everything, like he said, yeah. is already so here. fuel rails. Yes. So fuel rails are special to the Whipple, right? It's, yes. it's designed yes. so it sits yes. on the side of the, uh, the unit itself. Correct. Literally, guys, everything that you need to install one of these on your F-150s comes with the pack because you, you, we got the stage everything. one. We didn't just buy the that. unit by itself. Everything but, to the last zip tie. And it's everything is branded right. to or named as well. So, like, literally, you know what you're looking at, where the bolts go and everything. So yes. if you are looking for stage one, stage two for your F-150, what else can you sell them on? Are you able to sell the Whipples on anything, or yeah, you anything, mostly? Anything. Guys, I'm gonna post a link. Dude, that's so later. sick. I can't wait. I'm so pumped. But if you need any Whipples whatsoever, I'm gonna post a link to Igor's website. Reach out to him. He got me mine in five days. Cannot promise he'll do that for you. <laughs> that was luck of the draw, I guess. But oh my God, yeah, Dustin at Whipple, dude. I don't know if you'll ever watch this video, but thanks to you. I'll send it to him. I'll uh, make him dude, watch it. this is gonna be so sick. Like we're I'm gonna be sure. getting ready for the season. To run like i am legit gonna make some money on the street whatever but we did talk to dustin for like 45 minutes yesterday talk to a, a little guy like me that you know is just trying to build the truck and do something with it and uh he spent his time talking to us which is amazing but without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and start helping igor out because we have a long night ahead of us now one thing you did mention igor is we do have to put this uh intercooler right in the front as well so we will be heat taking exchanger, yeah okay the heat exchanger right we're gonna skip that step for now and do it later okay uh, because we have the truck wrapped with the that's right that's right we're protecting so that front grill we're gonna deal under hood and then uh we'll go back to the step where we're, we remove the grill and put the, the heat exchanger in here so one thing i haven't told igor is that i actually got a triple um something something like intercooler or whatever that actually cools off with coolant 
to help with it to kind of keep the temps down it does have twin fans but you said that's probably a bad idea because it actually hurts it in the way okay so that's something we are going to do later on probably with the mission motor upgraded radiator so we're ready for stage two guys we're ready for i feel like you can make a video on that later oh absolutely see if the fans help or not oh so a, a lot of just... people have questions do they okay. help or do they not so yeah, you, that you would be a good one. Let them know and let me know. Dude, I can't wait. I actually was going to do it on my GT350, but yeah. Dustin Whipple said not to do it. So Okay. I don't oh, know. Dustin is the, the man. <laughs> we'll do it, I promise you, because we're ready for stage two, guys. I have already bigger injectors than what came with the Whipple kit. The 350 pulley, 132 millimeter uh, throttle body torque. I have everything ready for 900, 950 wheel, uh, but we are going to take a step out of time and learn this truck because I'm coming from Chargers. This is a 4x4, but it's top heavy, even with the, the suspension drop we're going to do. So there's, there's a lot with have to learn with a truck and we have to be ready with it and i kind of want to see the the the, uh, the slip times go up or get better uh using dragon of course going to the drag strip so uh igor did just sell his shelby gt350 so he's going to be in the market for something uh 50 for sure hopefully and uh we'll definitely be at the track competing all the time and you got to check out his channel as well guys but let's go ahead and uh get all this stuff installed and I'll update you guys as we go. So let's get it going. All right, guys. So we do have pretty much everything laid out here. And we're slowly following the instructions, putting parts into uh, the blower there. And it's so cool, man, because these instructions, not only are they colored and you can see exactly where the sensor goes, how much to torque everything down to, but they're so freaking thorough. It even says like apply generous amount of grease to the injector. I know you guys can't read that. But according to Igor, he said it's actually better to use this like uh, food grade silicon because I guess once everything gets installed, there's just no need for it to, to have grease on oh, there, yeah, right? So, food grade right there. You thought I was lying. Yeah, no, I see the food grade. I'm not putting it in my mouth, though. <laughs> I believe you, you, but a little bit on your salad. <laughs> I'm right, guys. These like instructions, man. I've never seen something so thorough. We're working page by page. We already got the bracket for the supercharger going in, so we're making progress. Uh, we're uh, assembling the fuel rail lines, of course, to put them on here. So, everything kind of gets put together, and then I guess the whole unit just kind of slaps on there, and that's it. We're done. So, a lot to learn, guys. A lot of sensors here so you probably 100 percent want to get this done professionally igor does do installations here not only does he sell whipple so if you guys are looking uh literally the, the price is stupid cheap and it's definitely worth it but uh let's continue guys it's we're making progress it's, yeah, it's cheap it's cheap for, for you and, the, and your customers <laughs> i don't edit why do you think this weighs we should have weighed it oh, oh dude i can't make sure the o-rings don't fall out i got oh i can't reach that you can't? Nope. Hold on. Can you hold that for a minute? No. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh, God dang. Okay. Don't hold the creeper. That it's is, okay. That is I'm so back sick. Her for this reason. Oh, absolutely. It's all worth it, man. So you just have to kind of wiggle it and let the bolts fall in place. And then just start them by hand. <laughs> dude this is so sick guys i'm definitely definitely doing all the work he just wanted to do the heavy lifting so he gets credit uh but guys we're, we're making such good progress so after this once we settle it on what's next part i mean i know the lid goes on and then kind of what just uh routing the wiring and the hoses and everything right so yeah. we're pretty just much working through it. from here the hardest part is going to be actually taking the front end off but well no not really because i just did it a week ago so i kind of know where the bolts go to get the grill and everything off we will have to Probably i think half of the bolts are missing <laughs> that's why i said it's going to be easy man <laughs> because half the stuff ain't on there. But the active grill shutters, he said, probably will have to come off as well. So that's gonna be actually better for airflow. So we'll see, but guys, I'm dude, look at that. I wanna take a photo of that. That is such a beautiful sight, man. 5,000 mile truck, 2018, and it's about to be 600 wheel, what, almost 700 at crank, something like that for stage one. So we're definitely making big progress, guys. We're gonna put the lid on, we're gonna start wiring everything, and we'll give you updates as we go. But drop a like for this, man. This is about to get real quick. You so if you drop that <laughs> we're putting this thing back to stock all right so literally just you said just put the head right on oh yeah. the the lid the lid yes so it's going to be a little bit like tight on there to get <laughs> yeah on. just kind of wiggle it and it'll snap in place because there's an o-ring in that big circle there and uh yeah this yeah. is a workout for you oh yeah there's a lot of pressure right here can feel the movement yeah but so wiggle wiggle and push on it well there you go that's yeah, it yeah yeah you that's felt it, it man yeah. she on we gotta start this thing in the few i'm gonna give it what what do you think two more hours maybe i think so maybe and yeah. then we should be done so yeah. before midnight we'll get this bad boy to 600 wheel horsepower 
within the first three weeks of ownership, man. What an idiot, but this is a good start. We're gonna keep going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting so freaking close. The cover is on or the lid is on the supercharger. All the hoses and the pipes and the wiring, everything is getting plugged in. So this is a, what is it? A second water pump or what's it called? Secondary, yeah. Water yeah, pump. secondary water pump on the F-150s. You don't have it on Mustangs. So because of that, there's actually a rerouting bracket that comes from Whipple uh, to be able to actually put the pump on the side so it's not in the way because we are installing an extra uh, bracket, I guess, for the pulleys and everything like that. So there's so much going on in here. It is getting a little bit tight in space-wise, but we're actually getting really close to being done with everything that's done to the motor around the motor. And then looks like we're going to start taking the grill apart and uh, putting the heat exchanger which is laying right over there so that is going to be the final part of working on the front end making sure all the cooling and everything is done right so we can uh i don't know we're going to start it hopefully in just a in an hour or two maybe less so we are definitely making a lot of progress taking our sweet time like i said because we don't want to be doing this again ladies and gentlemen it is two o'clock in the morning the whole crew still here working on this freaking truck but we are done the grill is in everything is completely in coolant is topped off oils back in the truck literally every bolt is on except this here but that's because we gotta uh connect the headlight but i mean the battery terminals are on literally we're what ready to flash the system ain't we yes it's pretty much he's recording me recording him so uh i'm excited guys so the next step is literally upload the file and uh go from there i mean literally crank it over so we're gonna jump in the truck real quick and then i'm gonna show you how to upload it super simple i think as soon as you plug it in it'll automatically start uh updating itself and then uh just like that guys it's pretty much done so we're gonna do that real quick moment of truth boys dude okay brake pedal and here we go boys bro it's on dude the motor's running oh my god yo what sounds healthy as can be you can hear that supercharger bro oh dude you did it man oh my you god bro no 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 it. no bro oh my god this sucker's on it, it's running it's we did it man 600 horsepower right now to the wheels in a rear regular cab stock single cab whatever short bed i mean oh my god man i i'm speechless right now i cannot believe we just pulled this off i know for some people it's not a big deal but for us this is huge, man. This is monumental. Everything's running good. Everything sounds amazing. No leaks. Nothing's coming down. No ticking. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> we did it. We freaking did it. It's running. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. We are finally got a chance to drive it for a few miles now to be honest with you. So um, it's been a few hours, I would say, just kind of getting the feel of it to see if it really drives any different than when, how it drove before we installed the Whipple. And to be honest with you guys, there's literally no difference whatsoever. Gas mileage is the same. It's about 14.9 to 15.3. I was getting like 15.6 before this anyway, so it did not drop at all. Shifting gears about the same normally, like it's not hard shifts. It's not really holding RPMs, unless of course you're getting on it, then it downshifts a little bit quicker. Um, before on the throttle pedal being naturally aspirated, you have to get about 25 to 30 percent before you can really like you know it kicks up a gear, I guess, or goes down a gear and gives you more power. Now it's about I would say like every I would say 15 20 percent on the throttle pedal, it automatically drops a gear and, and takes off. But besides that, guys, like I said. It, it feels like a stock truck it really really does this is a lot light, lightweight truck like i told you guys so if it was you know like just throwing power everywhere and boosting like crazy i would have been able to feel it because i mean it's it's a four thousand pound truck it's super lightweight but besides that man i'm i'm actually pretty excited like the only time you can really tell the difference that this thing is you know supercharged is when you do this Jesus, man, third gear spinning. Third gear spinning. You have to use two hands on this truck. You legitimately do, or else it'll get away from you. Now, I don't know, and if somebody can comment down below and tell me if this thing is LSD from factory, because I feel like only the right rear is spinning. It is a 331 gear, but like, watch. From that started at 60 ended at 61 this this thing is a freaking missile 
and I hope he picks up on camera like that the sound of the Whipple you know how actually that whining noise that I love and I always love to hear on the Mopar because it was extremely loud on this one I feel like it's not as loud but from what I understand if it if the Whipple or the supercharger is whining extremely loud it means it's it's actually uh, grasping or gasping for air it doesn't have enough so I never knew that maybe somebody can correct me or tell me if I'm right or wrong but that's what the uh, experts have told me but besides that guys like legit this truck is just so freaking impressive I cannot wait to drive it daily we have so much more coming of course this is just stage one literally we haven't touched even the tip of what we're about to do to this so right now it's about 600 wheel that's usually what the stage one uh, does from Whipple uh, we are going to be putting on the dyno to see what the actual numbers are normally on a heavy vehicle especially a truck there's like a 20% drive chain loss last time we did a dyno pull we only lost like 12 to 13 percent while we're doing the uh, real world drive so that means we had like 350 wheel out of the 398 that crank so that's not bad at all so if it's 600 wheel we're talking you know we're in the 650s maybe a little bit higher than that at crank which is really strong for literally just taking a truck instructions are incredibly easy to use like it shows you every bolt every nut every wire where the clamp goes the hose goes how to relocate things it honestly if, if somebody is just a little bit more mechanically inclined than i am you can literally do this i promise you this is super easy to do and like i said there's no drilling no no cutting nothing like that it was extremely easy and you've doubled your horsepower you have literally doubled your horsepower now we're trying to double it again so that is the next step that we are going to be doing fuel system like i said is already in we do have the five inch uh drive shaft that came in the one piece everything that we need to do the torque converter everything is done everything is ready for 9 950 wheels so i cannot wait to get it to stage two we're just waiting for the appointment for the shop to be able to get it in but before we end this video guys i want to show you one more thing that whipple gives you with every um supercharger or every uh kit that you buy from them and i think it's actually pretty cool uh some may not like this and i usually like to keep a clean truck i don't even like having like these xl stickers on there um but they did send me these that come with it which is actually pretty cool i think it's like a subtle reminder pretty much for anybody that comes up next to you i'm gonna put it on the hood here that says whipple supercharged that like hey man this guy means business you know it's got a little bit more power than a stock f-150 then when they line up and try to race you they realize they, they really royally screwed up so then they have these other stickers that they give you and uh, this one says whipple for the win so i think what i'm gonna do and probably put it on the back of my window so that way after the they get smoked and they're far far behind you and you just uh left bus links on them then they realize not to mess with you ever again but <laughs> i don't know a little bit cocky i would say but uh i always wanted to put that on man i mean i spent the money on it so why not put the uh, little stickers to kind of make it look a little bit better in my opinion but anyways guys thank you so much for watching enjoy your lives enjoy your trucks enjoy your cars thank you for being part of this channel it means a lot to me we're going to be growing we're going to be having so much awesome content street racing dig racing we're going to be doing it all getting a lot of data as well in the dyno as to what this truck can handle what that motor and transmission can handle but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next episode peace